Joining us right now is Mr. Nino Ngering, Minister of State for Minority Affairs, Congress MP as well. Uh, appreciate you joining us. Uh, you're going to be heading a delegation tomorrow to the Prime Minister where you're going to present the case of people from the Northeast. Uh, do you think anything will come out of that, sir, considering that it's not the first time that we have witnessed racism like this in our very own country? Uh, good evening. Uh Mr. Rarey, can case, you? Yeah, uh, yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, in regard to this case, it's very unfortunate because a young boy, just about uh, 17 or 18 years old, uh, got into an altercation with uh, some people um, in regard to his, you know, hairstyle or his, you know, way of dressing. Unfortunately, uh, we have several cases like these. Uh, in fact, uh, during the last exodus, if you remember, uh, the feeling of you know insecurity, uh, which took place not only here but you know throughout all the states uh, in Maharashtra, in uh, uh, Karnataka, right. in Tamil Nadu, uh, where, where we had to intervene. <coughs> of course, uh, that time also the group of uh, uh, MPs of the Northeast met uh, the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Home Minister with uh, our UPA Chairperson, Ma'am uh, Sonia Gandhiji. And uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, several times uh, we have had these meetings with uh, most of our senior leaders and apprised them of uh, the, you know, kind of uh, feeling of insecurity by the children here. Yes. Uh, even during uh, the last uh, Delhi government also. Uh, we have uh, approached uh, Ma'am uh, Sheila Dixit also that time also. And uh, ways and means are being found, you know, to contain this kind of discrimination amongst the people. Of course, uh, what I think is that, uh, that awareness should be made to all the people throughout the country to know yes. that the Northeast people are also part and parcel of this big and majestic and country which we all, all love. But Mr. Rehring, considering what Regarding happened in 2012 yeah. with that mass exodus of people from the Northeast, uh, once again a similar situation playing out here mm. uh, where this young boy has lost his life uh, and all everything points towards racism. Uh, you know, you're going to meet the Prime Minister tomorrow. Do you have anything to say to the Chief Minister of Delhi, sir? Because he sat on a dharna just a few days back. Uh, do you think he should also protest this? You said you you'd spoken to Ms. Sheila Dixit when she was the Chief Minister of Delhi. Do you plan to do the same with Mr. Yes. Arvind Kejriwal? Uh, Mr. The Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi has just uh, uh, been uh, Chief Minister just a few, uh, one month back. So, uh, uh, in uh, details, uh, we will have to, I think, once again, uh, we have a North East MPs Forum, uh, which is led by our Honorable um, uh, Rajya Sabha member, Sri Mukundmiti. And after, just during this uh, session, I think uh, we will all be uh, coming back by, uh, I'll be here, but uh, they'll all be coming back by uh, 3rd or 4th. Uh, by the time, I think uh, we have to s uh, seek an appointment, uh, because uh, even though we are going to meet the Prime Minister or the Home Minister, because the Home Minister is also returning on the 3rd. Yes. Of course, I'll be speaking to the other officials, but it will, you know, until and unless all of us come together and take a very concrete steps. Uh, what is the further course of action so that uh, this kind of uh, awareness is spread out throughout the country, not only in Delhi, but all the major cities of India. Uh, it is very necessary because we have children of the North East right from Pune to Mumbai to, um, uh, to uh, Kerala or to uh, Chennai and yes. they are all working. Either they are students or they are working. So in this regard, I think that uh, we should uh, take some, you know, uh, preventive and precautionary measures okay. uh, so that uh, our children also, you know, Mr. Redding, I'm going to come right uh, back to you and ask you on the there. inaction by the police because as we speak, the police is still waiting for the post-mortem of this young boy. Only then will they, you know, take any action. I'm going to come back and ask you about that but would like to get an update from our associate editor, Krai Mathir Khan, who joins us outside Ames where Nido's uh, body is right now there in the mortuary. Um, Arthur, can you give us an update on the Delhi police? Are they still waiting for the post-mortem to even actually take any, any steps towards uh, any action at all? Well, uh, Preeti, what we are learning from our sources is that though the police has to confirm it officially that uh, uh, they have registered a case under Section 302 added with the uh, uh, you know, prevention of cruel, cruelty to 
uh, SC and ST Act. No, that has been done. Three persons have been detained, but don't know why police is hesitating on making an official announcement on this. What we know is that uh, they are trying to establish whether the, the injuries which he sustained yesterday was sufficient to cause death or uh, there was something in between which happened. They want to rule out any foul play in between because okay. the, the first time he did not sustain uh, you know, that uh, uh, brutal injuries. Right. But thereafter, when he was dropped back, it was then that he sustained uh, very serious injuries. You know, stay on with us, Arthur, uh, giving us the latest, Arthur Khan, our associate editor, crime, giving us up to speed on what the Delhi police is doing and as of now not doing much. We are also joined right now on this uh, special broadcast by Professor Kamal Chinoy. Uh, he's a professor from the School of International Studies, Jane. You appreciate, Professor, for joining us. Uh, professor, a heart-rending incident taking place right in the bank of South Delhi once again bringing the question to the fore which every time Indians as a people refuse to acknowledge that we are more racist than anyone else.